Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Group Vice President, Toyota Division Marketing for Toyota Motor North America, Lisa Matarazzo. Well, hello and good morning, everyone. It's so amazing to return to Las Vegas this year, live and in person, to be with you all at SEMA 2021. Now, it's exciting for Toyota, but it is especially exciting for me since this is my first time presenting here. And I have to admit, it feels like I've hit the jackpot this year because Toyota earned two out of the five prestigious SEMA awards. Mid-sized truck of the year for Tacoma and best sport compact for GR Supra. Way to kick things off, so thank you, SEMA. <laughs> now, some of the vehicles you'll see this morning, you may have seen virtually last year, but there's nothing like seeing them in real life, inside and out, am I right? Plus, we have some mind-blowing builds that you haven't seen virtually or in real life until today. First, we'll enter the high-octane world of Toyota high-performance cars. So follow me, and let's head over to the GR Garage. Okay, now, GR stands for Gazoo Racing, and it serves as the umbrella brand for our motorsports teams around the globe. Now, believe it or not, Toyota Gazoo Racing started as a kind of skunk works, with a small group of employees working after hours, learning through racing how to make better sports cars. In 2019, we introduced the GR product line developed for sports car enthusiasts and inspiring race car drivers everywhere. Each GR badge is earned, not given. And that's why we like to say GR was born on the track, not in the boardroom. It all started with a GR Supra, and enthusiasts have been carving up canyons ever since. But what's it like to really push the limits of a GR Supra? Well, we have someone who knows firsthand. You've probably seen him in his GR Supra, followed by a thick cloud of white smoke going totally sideways. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm SEMA welcome to Formula Drift driver, Ken Gushi. Hi, Lisa. Hey, Ken, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. All right. So Ken has been drifting for over 16 years and has multiple top three finishes in Formula Drift Championships. In 2019, he closed the season with a big win at Irwindale Speedway. And in 2020, during his first season in the Toyota GR Supra, he scored two impressive top 10 finishes. Oh, it's so great to be here with you today, Lisa, and everyone here at SEMA. So Ken, tell us why you chose the GR Supra to compete in Formula D. Easy. Supra is an iconic name, and Toyota is a legendary brand. Building a purpose-built competitive drift car, not so easy. But with the GR Supra, we had an awesome canvas to start with. This 3-liter in inline-six under the hood is a fire breather. The twin scroll turbo make massive torque. Like it says, by enthusiasts, for enthusiasts. Even crazy redlining enthusiasts like me. Now, the new GR86 really calls to me. I'll always have a soft spot in my heart for the 8.6. I mean, we did take first together at my home track, House of Drift. Yeah, well, I can see why the all-new GR86 would pull at your heartstrings, Ken. Yeah, the GR team really engineered razor-sharp handling, improved power, increased aerodynamics for this next-generation track weapon. This GR86 serves up thrills around every corner. But you know my favorite part, right? Well, it's got to be one of two things. It's either the huge array of available GR performance parts, as you see over here, mm -hmm. or it could be that every 2022 GR Supra and GR86 comes with a free one-year membership to the National Auto Sports Association. It also includes one free high-performance driving experience on track with a professional driver. You read my mind, Lisa, and I actually think I see the official GR86 pace car from the NASA championships at Daytona over there, too. All right, let's go check it out. I love this car. Oh, she's a beauty. <laughs> Look at the livery. Looks great. It looks perfect here in this setting. Awesome. All right. Well, last year you caught an exciting glimpse of this baby. So say hello again to the 2021 GR Super Sport Top. 
This guy is a tribute to the removable hardtop Supra of the 1990s, but the GR Supra Sport Top is definitely has its own personality. You're absolutely right, Lisa. The roof's outer body structure has been reinforced, and there's additional reinforcements underneath from the engine bay all the way to the back of the tub. The Toyota team actually hand-built a custom rear diffuser and added dual-pipe custom exhaust setup. The basket handle wing has also been integrated into the deck lid. Great. So next up, unveiled at SEMA 2019, the Heritage Edition is backed by popular demand. Yeah, you're right. This modern tribute to the iconic Mark IV Supra boasts 500 plus horsepower, innovative Formula One style pushrod rear suspension, and Brembo monobloc calipers to rein in speed at all four corners. All right, so together the GR Super Heritage Edition and GR Super Sport Top feature the legendary performance and classic details of the Mark IV while still maintaining the fresh, modern look of the Mark V. So thanks for your help this morning, Ken. Really appreciate it. Ken Gushi, everyone, give him a big hand. Thank you. All right, so Toyota's got some serious history when it comes to trucks. And at Toyota, we're proud of our heritage. And we've brought some old friends with us today. So talk about vintage. Take a look at this 1975 Toyota Hilux and this 1979 Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach pace truck. This 1989 SR5 here, it won several awards that year, including Motor Trend's Truck of the Year. And finally, 1995 marked the introduction of the Tacoma, and it's basically led the segment ever since. But let's go ahead and fast forward to today, where more and more of our customers are taking their trucks off the beaten path. We've seen interest in overlanding explode over the last few years. It's where the journey is just as important as the destination. It's the perfect match for the go anywhere, do anything reputation of our Toyota trucks and SUVs. So leave it to the innovative minds of Toyota to create an instant base camp. That's the perfect extension for any overland ready Toyota vehicle. It's called the TRD Sport Trailer. And here to show it to you is Baja 1000 winner, Nitro Circus alum, and TV personality, Andy Bell. What's up, Lisa? Hi, everybody here at SEMA. I was taking a little bit of chill time here over with my camp set up before everything gets started. Yeah, I can see that. So tell me what you have going on over there, Andy. This is pretty insane, right? This is a multi-tool, ready-to-go pop-up campsite. The TRD Sport trailer is made from the truck bed of a Tacoma pickup. And all of this goes right back into that. <laughs> that tent looks pretty darn comfortable. Yeah, it sure is. I've been sleeping for here for a week waiting for this to get going. Our friends over at Yakima sure know how to camp in style. This trailer's got a hot water heater, a refrigerator, a generator, heck, even has a shower with a curtain. And what's that? There's some kind of a toilet in here. That gold seat, well, it looks like it's fit for a king. I'll say, king of the wild frontier. <laughs> Everything folds back up into the truck bed, the scissor lift drops back down, and the tent and the scissor lift disappear under the hard tonneau cover. Presto, you ready to get back on the road. It's magic. But Andy, why don't you join me over here to take a closer look at this Toyota overlanding concept. On my way, boss. All right. Wait until you see this thing. Dang, what have you guys done with this thing? This Tacoma looks amazing. I mean, I like to call it the taco. Well, this is the handiwork of our truck marketing team and our partners at Cruiser Outfitters. Like Toyota, they believe that life is bigger when you get outdoors and off the grid. Well, and by the looks of it, you're staying off the grid for a long time with this thing. <laughs> Check out how it's all decked out. We got the ARB summer combo bar kit with fog lights up front. Got the LED roof rack light bar up here. And back here, tongue twister of the day, the Expedition One Mule Baki rack bed system you guys try that. And dual swing rear bumper system with integrated rigid LED light pods back here. And that is just scratching the surface of everything on this overlanding warrior. I gotta say, you had me at overlanding warrior. Yeah, 
But, okay, are you ready to do some rock climbing? You know I was born ready, Lisa. All right. The lineup behind me knows no limits. Our incredible TRD Pro models, the 2022 Tacoma, Sequoia, Tundra, and the Forerunner. From the beginning, TRD Pro vehicles were designed by the Toyota Racing Development Team to take off-road performance to the next level. And nowhere is that more apparent than in our all-new 2022 Tundra TRD Pro. It features the all-new iForce Max hybrid powertrain, and it's as comfortable blasting over the sand dunes as it is towing a boat. And we're excited to see all the places our customers are going to take the new Tundra when it goes on sale at the end of the year. Well, you got me excited when you said blasting over sand dunes, so I'm going to yeah. be your first order. I love the way that you guys integrated the light bar into the grill, and the BBS forged wheels, those things are pretty sick. Oh, wait, I didn't even tell you. I got to drive this thing a few weeks ago. Who would let me drive a prototype? I don't know, but I got to. This thing is an absolute beast. Yeah, well, that sounds like a mistake. We'll chat <laughs> later. But that Tundra TRD Pro is definitely hot, but it wouldn't be SEMA if we didn't turn it up to 11. So follow me. We're going this way. All right. I'm liking what I'm hearing, Lisa. It sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. Oh. Sweet. Yes. Now you're speaking my language, Lisa. Oh yeah, come on, yeah. look at this thing. You know, the cars are cute over there, but now we're in truck world. I've, heard, I've been hearing the buzz around town on this thing, Lisa, and I gotta say, I'm so pumped to see this thing in person. I know, right? The TRD team wanted to show just how tough the Tundra could be, so they went kind of crazy. Now this Tundra is all set up to be a chase support vehicle for open desert racing, which I know you love. I do love. That LED light bar there looks like it could light up the entire Vegas Strip, or maybe help me find that elusive chupacabra down in the deserts of Baja. We got 37 inch all-terrain tires, all sorts of official chase lights up there, two roll cage mounted spare tires, custom mounted jack and CO2 bottle. This baby really is the real deal, and I can't wait to take it off road in Baja. Oh. I hope, right? Yeah. Well, all in good time, Andy. I've got one more thing to show you. So, you know Godzilla is the king of monsters, right? And who doesn't love a good street taco? So just look at that emblem of a taco and Godzilla. Good job. All right, this is Tacozilla, the king of overlanding. It's a Tacoma that's been converted into a micro house on wheels. I love the throwback. This reminds me of my parents' campers in the 70s and early 80s. The styling is incredible. Yeah, well, it was definitely inspired by those rigs, but Tacozilla takes it to a whole new level. It's thoroughly modern, and it's a way to unplug from the hustle and bustle and escape to the great outdoors. All right, I need to escape to the great outdoors, but for now, I just got to go check this thing out. All right, go for it. This is incredible, guys. This thing can sleep four people in here. Can you believe that? It's got a fully operational kitchen, full bathroom with hot water shower. It's not a bolt-on camper. It's welded to the chassis and the cab. Honestly, I can't really tell where the truck ends and the camper begins. And it's been modified so that you can actually access the cab right from the camper. And I'm not a little guy. <laughs> so if I can do it, you could definitely fit through there. How cool is that? I know we all hate having to stop on the side of the road and climb through or go around. Now you don't have to with Tacozilla. This baby has TRD off-road suspension. It's got a TRD skid plate up front, worn winch, and serious General Grabber X3 all-terrain tires right here. Clearly, this wasn't meant for all your Instagrammers in the driveway. This is the real deal. Yeah, I heard you out there. And my favorite, six-speed manual transmission for all that off-road, and you guys are going to take this thing on. Thank you, Toyota. I love this thing. Yeah, I got to love that. The Tacoma was the perfect vehicle for this build. It's nimble enough to go places a full-size pickup can't. Tacozilla can climb hills, traverse rocky terrain, and reach summits where you can camp in one-of-a-kind style. 
This truly was an ultimate overland machine. I didn't think Toyota SEMA program could get any more awesome, Lisa, but I stand corrected. Well, that is all the time that we have for today. A special thanks to Andy and Ken for helping me out. And I invite all of you to come up and enjoy a closer look at these incredible Toyota cars and trucks. And be sure to check out the 2022 Tundra display at the new West Hall entrance. And have a great SEMA show, everyone.